you know, obviously you can't spoil the rest of the season, but I just want to ask, are you happy? And is Rose happy? Okay, absolutely, 100%. I'm, it's, it, falling in love again after 20 years was the, the most scariest and the most wonderful thing I've ever done. I have a new chapter in my life. There's a new chapter in, in our lives and we're both very happy. Does that mean, I mean, can you give us any hints of the, your relationship status as of right now? I know you said that you're quarantining alone, but can yes. you give us any hints? <laughs> okay, so the only thing I can say is um, I got a bigger house mm -hmm. and um, that's all I can say about that. Okay. I'm, I'm definitely in love, okay? Um, things are much better with my daughter. And look, I got on a plane, um, 23 hour flight, um, over 7,000 miles to see the love of my life um, that I met online. And in a country that um, is so incredibly, you know, desolate. If you, there are beautiful parts of the Philippines, but where Rose grew up, no indoor plumbing, there were sewer lines in the streets, but um, it, it was, kind of a, a shocker but your every week something crazy happened and 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 when when we were filming the producers kept going every they would send the the feeds back every every day and New York was just like oh my god is this really happening did this really happen and you can't write this you can't script it it is reality and I'm telling you like I said we're, we're halfway through the season, but you haven't seen anything yet, I'll tell you right now. It's going to be crazy, crazy. <laughs> I mean, what was it like going to her home for the first time? Because we see, you know, it is a state of poverty. Like, you know, they don't have a ceiling. You know, there's no windows. There's nothing. I mean, did you understand going into that at that point, like why she wanted to leave so badly? Well, um, I didn't. First of all, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Right. And um, and I can't really talk about you know th that that too much. But um, I was in fear of my life. Really? There was one night where I didn't think I was going to make it. That's and, and that's the honest to God truth. Um, so yeah, and you know, absolutely. And you know, you, you know, Rose even gets a lot of 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 bullying and and online body shaming as well, which I don't think is fair either. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a mom wanting to provide a better life for her future. Mm -hmm. And she um, um, is a single mom um, um, at the time, and she had a four-year-old son named Prince. And look, who, what mother in those conditions wouldn't want a better life? When I started to really have feelings for Rose, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna be able to, to impact their lives in a way that they, they can't even imagine. Yeah. So. No, definitely. I mean, and then talk a little bit more about her son. I mean, you know, we see that he calls you daddy. Like you, you know, you make that bond with him. I mean, what was yeah. that like, you know, kind of seeing him for the first time? What And yeah. what was your daughter's reaction to, you know, you becoming so close with Rose's son? Oh, um, well, uh, I didn't even have time to explain to my daughter, Tiffany, she hung up on me. And Did she basically didn't talk to me before I, um, I happened to call her the um, day I was leaving. She didn't even know I was leaving for the Philippines, but she um, was worried about me. And the biggest fallout, and I, you learned this, you know, through kind of going through, you know, um, fights and disagreements. You know, I wasn't listening to what my daughter was saying. You know, she was, she cared about me, but I thought she didn't, I thought in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, she doesn't want to share me with anybody else, but that wasn't it at all. She doesn't have a problem sharing me with another family, but she was worried about my safety. Um, as far as Prince goes, he's a beautiful, wonderful boy, very smart, very loving, would hug me like every day. Um, in fact, when I when we first pulled up, he runs up and gives me a big hug. And it, it was kind of weird at first when he was calling me daddy, mm -hmm. but you know, but he's never had a dad. Sure. You know, he's never had that in his life. And you know, I knew if, you know, being with Rose, it was a package deal and I had to become a father again. And at, and at 54, you know, um, taking on a four-year-old, my buddy Rich asked me, you know, in the show, he's like, you know, well, you know, do you, are you thinking about what you're doing? How, you know, what are you going to do? You're at 54 and when he's 14, you're going to be 64. And, you know, how are you going to handle that? I'm like, well, at least I'll have somebody to, you know, wipe my mouth when I'm drooling. I was trying to kind of made it a joke, but, right. but 
I was ready to, you know, I'm ready to be a dad again. You know, I'm, I love kids. They are, they are our eyes to the world. They speak the truth. They tell you like it is. I mean, I mean, there's three things in this world that, that, that don't lie. Okay. People that are drunk, mm -hmm. um, yoga pants, right? Right. And, and kids. Okay. Those are the three things that tell the truth. I love kids. I love Prince and, and I'm excited to be a part of his life. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, you, you did say that like early on that you, you didn't want to be a father again. So maybe this process kind of changed your mind a little bit. You know, it did. I went with a lot of reservations. Um, and as you'll see, you know, you know, in the show, I, I really didn't want more kids and, and that could have been a breakdown in communication because of the language barrier. So before I, I met Rose, she actually had said just in a conversation like this, Hey, you know, I, you know, I want a baby. I want a girl. I want Prince to have a, a sister. And I just kind of nod and say, yeah, yeah, okay. You know, but that's, that's it. We never ever talked about it again. And, um, and, but then sure enough, she, you know, she wants a bigger family. So your family. So we'll see how that plays out. Right. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, and what was it like meeting her? Actually, what was it like seeing Rose for the first time, having that first kiss with her, you know, having those intimate moments with her, what was that like for you? Like, was it instant? Like when you saw her, you'd be like, okay, all, all this was worth it. I am in love with this person. Oh my God. What a great question. So I'm going through customs. Okay. I've been in my mind. I have met this person digitally for three months yeah. and I'm about to meet her. So I'm, my heart is beating a hundred miles an hour. And I'm thinking about what exactly what you just asked. What's it going to be like? What if I don't like her? What if it's not her? What if, you know, I, I just had a thousand what ifs. And when I saw her for the first time, it was like, oh my God, it was just, it was like surreal, like a dream. Yeah. Like it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. And I just wanted to, to hold her. She was very warm. Her skin was very soft. Her hair was like smelled amazing. And she didn't have mayonnaise, thank God. Um, <laughs> Has she but, tried um, yeah, and, and I gave her a kiss. We were both freaked out, to be quite honest. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, and what was that first kiss? What was those first, you know, intimate moments like with her? Was, that, was it everything that you wanted and more? Yeah, well, the first kiss was kind of very quick. You know, right. it wasn't, um, you know, anything, you know, too crazy. Um, but as we got to know each other, it got, it, it got a lot better.